In this video, I'm going to show you how to make chat tags in your Roblox game. So if a player has a certain role in your group, they can have tags like this. Hey, subscribe. As you see, right next to my name, it says developer. That's what I gave it because I, I'm in a group where I'm the developer. So that's just what I made it. So anyone who who has a certain role in their group will have whatever tag you get assigned to it. Let me show you how to do it. So we'll do this from scratch. Um, I'm going to make a new script. It's a server script service. You don't have to name it if you don't want to. I'm just going to name it chat tags. And we'll start by getting the player's uh, service. Just like that. Now let's get the chat service. It's in the server script service. Uh, we got to require it because we're requiring a module script. We're getting, uh, we're getting another script that's already in the game. It's one of the scripts that's built into Roblox, so that's what we're gonna get. Require game dot server script service dot. Uh, wait for child. Chat service runner. Wait for child chat service. So, let me show you what I just did real quick as I play the game. Um, and I go up here to, and I click current client. Okay, so, now this is what the server is. And in server script service, there's this script that's already there by Roblox. Um, it's called chat service runner. And inside of that, there's... Bunch of module scripts, and this is what we're going to use to 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 make the chat tags. So we're requiring the chat service module inside. We're, we're pretty much just getting a class that Roblox already made by themselves, and we're going to use this class, this chat service class. All right, so we did that. Now. I'm going to say CS dot speaker added connect uh, parentheses function and just say player name just like that. And one thing before we do this, I forgot to mention, oops, um, make sure you spell this up here exactly the same because it will not work otherwise if you don't so it says chat service runner if you misspell any of these letters it has to be exactly like this um and same with the chat service you, you, you ha just make it so it's exactly like this but anyways let's get on with it um so, this is just an event that runs uh, when someone starts, I think when they start talking. But, let's say local speaker equals chat service or CS colon get speaker. And we're just recall, we're just getting, um, a this is just a function that's in the module script, the chat service class that I brought up earlier. This is in that class, and we're just using it in our script. And let's just say player name inside of here. So we just got the person who spoke, really. Yep. And now let's do local player. Oops, my spelling. Local player equals uh game that players uh do some square brackets like that and then say player name. Now this is the part where I'm gonna declare what role if to check what role they're in in my in the group. So to do this, just say if player colon get role in group so this is just a function attached to the player 
that will only that its its only job is to get the role in the in the group that you request. So it it does it takes one parameter. We need to pass in the the ID of the group that we want, and I have that. So I'm gonna go to Roblox, and this is the group that I'm in. And as you see, I am a I'm in the developers rank. So if you go up here to the URL at the top of the page, there's some numbers there. Copy just the numbers and go back to Roblox Studio. And paste that into the, the parentheses. And then say if player is get role in group and your ID. Your ID should be different. It will be different. Depending and on which group you're in, every ID is different. So, if player in equals equals, say, I'm gonna go back to Roblox. So I'm gonna check if they're in a certain have a certain role. I'm gonna copy my role. If you want to do it for every role, then just copy the names of each one. They have to be the same though. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this exactly. I'm going to go back to Roblox Studio. Um, I'm going to paste it right here. Then I'm going to say then. So we're just checking if the player is in the group and they have, or if they're in the if they have this role in the group, then do something with it. Do something. Well, in my case, I want to give them a chat tag. So now I'm going to do. Speaker, colon, set extra data, uh, tags, um, do two curly brackets like that, so one, and then two inside, and then another inside of it, like, like this, and then do, and then this is where you can set Inside of here, say tag text exactly like this equals, and this can be whatever you want. You don't have to do what I do. I'm going to do developer. You don't have to do, you can do anything you want though. Type anything you want here, but, and this is just what's going to show up in, next to your name. And then the last, uh, uh, parameter it takes, or the last argument it takes is a color, so that you can decide what color you want for it. Color equals color three dot from RGB. Uh, I'll pick a color from here. I'll do, uh, I'll do, I don't know. Uh, let's do, let's do yellow. I don't, that was random. That's fine though. Uh, so, I think that should work. I'm gonna try it out. All right, so I'm in my game. I'm gonna type something high. And you see, I got my tag. Isn't that awesome? So there you go, guys. That's how you do it. That's how you you make chat tags in Roblox if, you're, if your player has a certain role in your group. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.